Hey folks. I'm an old biker dude, man. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the old biker dude show starring old biker dude. It's good to have y'all with me. I hope y'all enjoy watching the riding videos and some of my cooking stuff and things like that as much as I enjoy doing them. Click the subscribe button. But uh, anyway, what uh, we're going to do today is uh, do a little riding in the Bryson City, Cherokee, um, you know, Western North Carolina mountains. I'm going to mount the camera on the front position and put the cover on it so it'll reduce the wind noise. So come on, jump on. Jump on the back. He's sitting out there waiting on us. And we'll, uh, we'll take some rides here for several minutes, uh, catch some nice scenery before we make our trip home.
I'm on my way home now. I'm on 441, coming over the pass between Cherokee and Franklin, North Carolina. Um, however, I'm not going to make it home before dinner time, so I thought a good way to add to my going home video would be to uh, would be to cook some dinner. Um, stick around and see what I'm making for dinner because it's going to be really good. Well, I just stopped to get gas and I am on my way home. I'm going to stop at a little rest area south of Franklin and cook dinner. But uh, it's getting evening time and solar is beginning to disappear. Um, if you all can see the display, I'm not taking in any wattage here from solar. So I've dropped to 66%. I'm only putting out three watts right now to charge my GoPro batteries. So what I do now is I pull a little um, storage battery hack. And what I'll do is I'll disconnect my solar panel, which is this cord right here. And then I'm going to connect this one. What I do, I simply hook my positive cable over there to the, to the battery. And then I hook up my negative cable over here on this side and then here's my solar connector and I'll con stick that right in there and you should see the the watts right here start to go up as I'm tapping my storage battery there we go I'm drawing 8197 so I'm drawing 98 watts out of my storage battery back into my Blue Eddy power station so when I'm on the road, that's what I do at night, and that keeps my refrigerator powered up. Of course, my refrigerator is already down at operating temperature, so the compressor doesn't stay on all the time. It just kicks on every now and then and uses about 25 watts from right here. But right now, it's not even on. So this will power my... my uh, power station back up to a hundred percent probably by the time I stop to cook dinner well as luck would have it 
And much like the last four days, <laughs> I have uh, encountered a little problem. Uh, lying between me and my destination of home is that weather front right out there that is dropping thunderstorms in a location before I can get to this rest area that I need to get to to make my dinner. So, what I've decided to do is take refuge here under that canopy right here. And I'm going to set up right there using a portable table and cook my dinner. <laughs> I hope the folks here in Franklin, North Carolina won't mind. I don't think so. We'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. So first I set up my little portable table. And now to get my cooking stove. Well, I decided to have some sausage fried rice. So of course the first thing I'm going to do is pop me a cup of rice in a little pot, put twice as much water as I did rice. Of course, I'm gonna add a little salt. A tad of this delicious butter. And bring that to a boil. And after it came to a boil, I'm gonna just pop the top on and I'm uh, just gonna let it simmer on a really 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 low flame you know I had some leftover sausage and egg from yesterday's breakfast burritos so I've thrown that in my little frying pan and I'm gonna cut up some onions Probably the rest of the red bell pepper. I'm going to add that to my my pan of ingredients. I'm going to throw a little, little what's this here sauce in here. I don't use soy sauce because the sodium level is so high. The sodium level is much lower in what's this here sauce. It's only 65 milligrams. Whereas in soy sauce, it's about 600. Well, while we're waiting on our rice to, to simmer, you get some really neat looks from people when you're just parked under a canopy in front of a strip mall, in front of a closed store. And oh, the lights came on. That, that's really convenient, too. But uh, the accommodations here are great. has come along quite nicely so I'm gonna turn it off and let all the moisture absorb into the rice but not before I sneak a little more butter in there it'll bring y'all down and get a little better angle um, this is my home brew chili oil sesame oil Japanese mirin and garlic so I'm gonna throw some of that in there and now we're gonna turn the heat up a little bit and get things stir-frying I don't I try not to waste anything and as long as I know my refrigerator stays nice and cold back there that's why I put so much effort into my solar system so that I I know I never lose power to my refrigerator because it works really good and as long as I keep that thing working I've always got fresh food out here to make uh, while I'm on the road and for me that just adds an element to to moto travel that you just can't buy there's just something about <clears throat> cooking my own food and, not eating in restaurants that I just find very satisfying. 
I was a single dad for many years, so I uh, cooked for kids and the neighborhood kids, and, and I like taking a break to uh, cook my meals out here on the road, and just, I enjoy it very much. Now I'm gonna mix everything together and just kind of stir fry it all. And also, I'm gonna add in some peas and carrots. I like to have a nice color in my stir fry, even if I'm the only one that sees it. I like using a glass top because I like to be able to see my food cooking. Um, at home, I'm emphatic about that. But uh, things are coming along good. And we're gonna throw the two of them together here in a minute and see what our fried rice looks like. I've always loved to just stir fry food. It's healthy. And let's see. Let's pop a little bit more butter in there. Perhaps just a little bit more pepper. And that right there is what we're gonna call dinner. Cooked right here in a little strip mall. <laughs> in Franklin, North Carolina. But that's gonna be my dinner. Let's take a little bite here. Get some rice on it. Oh man, that's hot. Mmm. Oh my goodness, that's good. Well, as I'm sitting here eating my dinner, I've been checking the uh, AccuWeather forecast. And uh, it's not looking good for the kid. Man, that stir fry is good. Uh, so I may just have to wait this out. And uh, I'm willing to do that right now. I've been wet so much in the last three days. <laughs> I'll sit here all night if I got to. <laughs> but at this point, I'll be riding home in the dark, so I don't care how dark it is. Mm. Oh man, that's good. I sure appreciate you guys watching my videos. A lot of what I do is also for people who, you know, like myself, might be getting up there in the years and aren't able to ride anymore. And if that's the case, then I'm, I'm making these videos for you. And of course, for anybody else that wants to watch them. I'm an old biker dude, man. 